Okay, this is called Lower Pitts Farm. I've been through... I think I mainly come down this way when I, when I used to do a circ pretty circular, I call it. Isn't it? All right. Pardon? You okay? Yeah. I'm talking to myself. Don't worry. <laughs> so I know this route. I've been through here loads of times. Pitts Farm, then there's higher Pitts Farm when I get further up. Like I said, the reason I, I'm out in this sort of dull weather, which is unusual really, um, for photography reasons, is because um, the weather is supposed to be really horrible, and of course the clocks go back or forward on uh, Saturday night. It's going to be shorter hours, don't forget. And uh, to less light hours. So I thought, get this walk in, because I've wanted to do it. I have wanted to do it. Farmer came out there and he told me, probably taking photographs of some stones. But, uh, Yeah, so this is the drier route anyway, basically. I don't think he could stop me coming up here. Um, I don't know. As long as he ain't dodgy, <laughs> if you know what I mean. I am having my bar of chocolate. I'm going to have it in a minute. I think quite often I come down that way and then head over to those trees. That's the copse I was in earlier. The copse. We're leaving pretty behind now. And um, I could have been walking for three and a half hours. It could be going on for four hours. I'm not sure. Actually, once I get to Wookiee, I'm not rushing any of this, but it doesn't take long to get to Wells. It's very close. And it had to be done today because this is the day, though it's breezy, it's a warm wind. It's not supposed to rain. Rain is my worst enemy. Especially if I haven't brought my umbrella, which was a mistake. Not to bring it, to be quite honest. Um, I must, I mustn't do that again. You know. Yeah, farmer just come out. I suppose to get people wandering through. Um, things are moving very fast in the farming world, though. Now uh, they've had their subsidies cut from now we're out of uh, Europe. I'm not quite sure it's affected them. Not quite sure. But they might be having to stop keeping cows or something, you know. What with climate change. There's a big climate, world climate meeting in Glasgow next week. The Queen can't attend because she's not been 100% and uh, it's got quite a lot for her to do really to cope with hundreds of bloody um, people come from all over the world and that. It's a big thing. Um, but they're all meeting up and of course some people are saying that the methane emitted from cow dung and all that is contributing to global warming. Um, there's lots of things tied up with farming. I haven't really studied it absolutely precisely, but 
and there's all sorts of theories that it even none of it's true and all that, you know. But I think some of it is true because <sighs> it's a subtle thing at the moment, but apparently it could go it could turn up go over the edge. Apparently there's a tipping point, they call it call it with the melting of the icebergs and the defrosting of the permafrost. Apparently that could be a tipping point where it accelerates fast and then there's no way out and we're doomed. Now the other problem is with all this going on, resources become prized, expensive, sought after, land will get scarcer with flooding and apparently the heating up of the planet will cause more fires. This person can't come in on. Hold on a minute. It will cause more fires. There will be competition for what they say by the year 2000. 100, I think, he said. There could be um, only 30% of land left to live on or in, in habit, habitable. Um, these are all, all um, algorithms and models that they've predicted and they're using. Um, this could be a natural phenomenon with the planet. More volcanoes going off, more earthquakes. A bit of heating, a bit of cooling. It, it's alive. Our planet is very much alive. And it could be that it will cut everything, everything off for a while and start afresh. Okay? We're all very lucky to be here. And what's... It's true. If only we could stop all the hate, all the killing, all the torture share, share more, more e equality, freedom around the world, only that could happen, then we could, we've got a chance of surviving, but I don't think so, if you look over the last thousand years and all the countries around the world, they've been fighting like cats and dogs, all the wars, we're no different, we still sell weapons, we still build nuclear submarines. Everybody's scared. When people are scared, they go on the defensive. Right, now, I'll just point out something now, after my sermon. I'm going to be going straight down there in a minute, to Upper Pitts Farm. Now, across this field is a parallel pathway going that way, like I'm going this way, that I could have been on. And I did really want to go on it. But the thing is, I'm looking at see if there's any cows in these fields. Um, there was about four fields to cross, you see. Anyway, this, this is a bit more sheltered. Keeps my feet dry for longer after going in the stream. They are a little bit damp, but it hasn't affected me. I don't feel the damp. So this, I've just seen Postman Pat go by. Woman Postman Pat. Um, so folks, this is what's happening. I'm walking along this little bridle path, come minor, minor, minor road. An old drove. And I can't see any cows. I probably, so far, it looks like two fields out of the four or five. We're looking all right. What I could find is when I get up to Upper Pitts Farm, or Higher Pitts Farm, whatever you call it, that's when I'll start bumping into the cows. Yeah, I did all this exploring over the years. All this, I did it um, before I had Alberta as well. What was it when I had Alberta? Now, I think I did used to walk over this way, but I think it was more when I had Alberta that I started to explore this area. Because remember, you cannot get a bus from Pretty 
to, you can't even get a bus to Pretty to Cheddar, say, to link up with another bus. But they have introduced some, some more buses. For example, from Cheddar now, you can get a bus to, to Burnham on Sea. There's a car coming. Let's hope there's not notches. Over and out a minute. Right, this second battery gone in, or third. There's the Wells Mast, Stocks and Forest over there, which I've roamed in, got lost in, took old Bertha there mainly. Over there, be pretty, right over there, there's a campsite, pretty campsite I can see. Path. And I can see no cows there, but I got a feeling there are cows further over there. But there's I my parallel track that I would be on was just across this field, going along there, and there's no sign of any cows. I could have walked it, but not to worry. We're not far away from it, are we? Look, we're not very far away. But it's not the end of cow risk. I'll be coming to hire something farm in a minute. Pops farm, is it? And uh, we'll see from there if there's uh, any any problems. Like I said, the alternative for me, if there are, and I have to backtrack, I'm going to follow the main drove going back down there. It'll take me back towards the fields that I've walked earlier. It also can take me to a, another route into Epper Gorge. It's <sighs> yeah, so a longer route. I'm not actually walking all in and out of Epper Gorge. I mean, quite honestly, when I've had um, my, my camper van, I would come over and I'd wander all in and out because there's no time limit. No? I could stay out to 8 o'clock in the night if I wanted to and I used to wander back this way it's all recorded it's all recorded there's a gate coming up now it's nearly at the end of this section the only problem with this drove up here which might not be too bad because we haven't had heavy rain yet not for a couple of days but it can be a quagmire it's a real old drove and it can be a quagmire. Now what I'm heading what I'm heading to do is just skirt the gorge and head straight to Wookie. Uh, not the plan today wasn't to go and explore and look around all in the in the gorge. No, nope, not today. Um, it's just a route through that I'm using on the way to Wells. It's just a route through. Um, and like I said, very soon the cows will all be out and away in the, in the barns. At the moment, we see lots of sheep over there. The track, the alternative track I would have used. Um, so I haven't really missed out really, I've just, I've probably saved a quarter of an hour at least doing this route. It's straightforward, it's not muddy. It's a little bit more protected actually because of the bushes and trees. And we're getting very close to the farm now as well. Very close to the farm. I could have been over here two years ago in 2020, easy. Oh, not 2020, 2019. Two years ago, I could have easily been wandering around all around this way. I still had Alberta. I had Alberta for the whole of 2019. And then I had to part with her in January 2020. 
Now, this is called a blind whaler. That is another route I can take if I have to. I can go up there and get in a field further down and then get into the back of the wood. Just notice a car coming up behind me then. Um, so that's a... I found it my sheep's head here, by the way, a few years ago. Yeah. Look at that. Fresh copac. What does that mean? 